Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up Jenkins Server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Jenkins and all of its prerequisites. So from this product page, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this subscription page from where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Once the subscription validation process is done, you can click on continue to configuration. Now that is going to take you to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. So when you are satisfied with the settings, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you have two different launch options. You can launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this opens up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now within this tab, you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as Jenkins. After that, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then choose the instance type according to your requirements. After that, choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that we need to establish an RDP connection with our virtual machine. After that, you can leave the network settings as default and then when you're fully satisfied, simply click on launch instance to actually deploy this virtual machine. So you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for that simply click on view all instances. And then as you can see that our virtual machine is still in the pending state. So you need to wait for a few moments for it to change its state from pending to running. Now once the machine is inside the running state, simply right click on it and choose connect. And then click on RDP client tab. Now as you can see that we have the public DNS, we have the username but we do not have the password. So simply click on get password and then it is going to ask you to upload your key pair. So click on browse and locate your key pair. Once that is done simply click on decrypt password. Now you have the public DNS username along with the password. Now to establish our remote desktop connection simply hit windows and type remote desktop connection and then copy this public DNS and paste it inside the computer feed. After that click on show options and then simply copy this username and paste in front of the username field. After that click on connect and then it is going to ask you for the password. So copy this password and paste it in this field and then click on ok. After that it is going to prompt you one more time so click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Now once the connection has been fully established you also need to wait for the windows server 2019 to completely load. Now once the windows server has completely loaded you can actually access the Jenkins server by simply clicking on this desktop icon that says Jenkins. Now this Jenkins is hosted on localhost at the port number 8080. So the first time you log in into Jenkins it is going to go through the initial setup. So Jenkins is currently locked so you need to provide the initial admin password. Now to get this password simply open up a file explorer, head inside this PC and then C drive and then program files x86 and then Jenkins and then secrets and in here you would find this file which is named as initial admin password. Right click on it and click on open with and open with notepad. Once the file has been opened simply copy all of its content, head back to the Jenkins and paste it over in this field and then simply click on continue. That would unlock Jenkins. After that it is going to ask you to customize Jenkins so you can install suggested plugins or you can go with personal plugins or you can select plugins to install. So I'm just going to go with select plugins so that I can show you all of the plugins that are available for installation. So as you can see that these are all the plugins that are available for installations. When you're satisfied with the plugin that you want to install, simply click on this install button and wait for the installation process to complete. Now after the plugins have been installed, it is going to ask you to create the first admin user account. So give yourself a username and then provide the password. Confirm the password and provide the full name of the admin. Once that is done, simply click on save and continue. After that it is going to ask you for the URL of Jenkins so simply click on save and finish. 
and then Jenkins is ready. So click on start using Jenkins and you would be brought to the dashboard of Jenkins. Now from here you can create pipelines and jobs. To create a simple job simply click on create new jobs and then give a name for your job. So I'm going to call this one as task 1 and then you have to choose the type of the project that you're doing. So I'm just going to go with freestyle project and then click on OK. After that it is going to ask you more about the details of this particular job. So you can type in description, choose the details and so much more. Now once you're done with the description and details about the job simply clicking on save would actually establish this job so as you can see that we are now currently inside the project task 1 now that brings us to the end of this tutorial now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for amazon web services and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up jenkins on amazon web services and lastly if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.